Faster and faster. The coaches rattled and shook. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas said to himself. And soon it was. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Harvey arrived to help clear up the mess. Harvey didn't like seeing Thomas so unhappy. I can't go around the difficult bend, Thomas wished sadly. I'm not a useful engine without Annie and Clarabel. You are a really useful engine, said Harvey, and a jolly good friend. And he puffed away. Thomas trundled slowly back to Tidmouth's sheds. He was very sad. He wanted to be back with Annie and Clarabel. Suddenly, Thomas saw a line of troublesome trucks rushing towards him. They had come uncoupled from Edward. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. The troublesome trucks are heading for the new station, and they're going too fast. I must warn the station master. So he raced after them. The troublesome trucks clattered along the track. Thomas was determined to save the new station. So he dashed after the runaway trucks. Thomas went faster and faster. He raced past the troublesome trucks, but he was nearly at the difficult bend. Thomas wanted to go fast, but he knew he couldn't. Slow down, said Thomas to himself. Slow down and puff with care. Thomas applied his brakes. He slowed down and puffed very carefully. He made it all around the difficult bend all by himself. I've done it, he tooted. But so did the runaway trucks. Thomas puffed as fast as he could. And he raced into the station just in time. Runaway trucks are coming, he cried. You must change the points. The signalman quickly changed the points. The troublesome trucks hurtled into a siding. They biffed and bashed the buffers. But the station was safe. The next day, Thomas was back with Annie and Clarabelle. They were going to the grand opening of the new station. They chuffed along happily together. And when they came to the difficult bend, Thomas slowed down and puffed with care. The difficult bend wasn't difficult anymore. The grand opening was a great success. And the new station looked wonderful. Sir Topham Hatt came to see Thomas. You have saved my new station, he said. You are a very brave and useful engine. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. He was so proud it made his firebox glow.